hi guys welcome back to our channel one more time how are you guys doing i'm super fun and excited to do this makeup prom look for you guys of course not this one but the one that you guys will see um at the end or while i'm doing it um i'm actually planning to wear my hair like this and at the end of the whole look whenever i'm done with it i'm actually going to put on my top the top of my dress so you guys can like see how the look goes with my dress and see if it might go with your dress um i don't think this is a look that i'm honestly going to wear to prom because i want to make sure that what I put on has like no flashback with like makeup and things like that um, and also I just I'm not sure like I'm going to experiment and try out other looks um, but this could definitely go with any prom look and I actually don't even know what I'm going to do right now so hopefully it goes with my prom look I'm planning to do something like a little neutral smoky kind of thing to give you guys a little bit of um, an idea of what I'm going like off of because this is red and that's not even close to what I'm going off of but this is the top of my two-piece set um, and this is what it looks like it's um, a really pretty blue it has a nude lining the dogs are barking so I kind of want to do like I can honestly go pretty much all out with this um, I probably I probably wouldn't I personally probably wouldn't do like um, blue eyeshadow um, I would keep it more like with browns and nudes and um, like a sm more smoked out kind of look but that's just on my personal level you could do a great look with the same eyeshadow or maybe a eyeliner that looks similar to this it would look so pretty whatever you're whatever you want to do on your prom go ahead and do it so to prep my skin I've always use the Nivea men original replenishing post shave balm I'm just gonna grab a, like a little bit I think this is even a little bit too much for me honestly and um, I'm gonna put this all over the face you guys I was having horrible skin days the past like two weeks but it's definitely cleared up so that's a good thing for me um, of course, you should not feel ashamed, you shouldn't feel ugly if you have breakouts or anything like that um, because you are beautiful the way you are, um, but for my skin type, it's just not, it's not common for me to get pimples and whenever I did get pimples, I wasn't like, oh no, like, you know, um, but what I was ashamed of whenever I did get pimples was that I actually picked at them and they got so bad. Like, I've never had this many pimples. It was just really bothering me. So I tried popping them, and it wasn't their time to pop. And so I just, like, completely, like, made my face look like it, like, broke out in, like, a rash up here. It was so bad and so ugly. So I was definitely ashamed of that. But um, I feel like if you have acne, who cares? Rock it. Whatever. You rock it. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I tried this Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. It's mattifying, mattifying plus pore minimizing. It says it's oil-free. Um, and I tried it out yesterday for the first time. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I put it on and I like, after like a few, like 20, 30 minutes of using it, my face felt so, so oily. And you guys, I'm not naturally oily. Like I'm naturally really, really dry. So I just felt really, really oily. I had to like take off makeup and redo it because it was, I was just like so slippery. Like I would touch my nose and I felt so slippery and it was just ugh, like I just didn't like it. So I wouldn't recommend that to you guys. But the two foundations that I'm going to use. So I actually said in my recent um, update that I wasn't going to use this Milani um, foundation for my face for prom but I thought that mixing a little bit of this in because I really love how this looks on my face with a little bit of my favorite, current favorite, which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige. I feel like just mixing them together would make my foundation like flawless, like extra, extra, extra flawless. So I tried that. This stays really well on my nose area. This kind of rubs off my nose, but the rest of my face, it stays on and I love the way it looks. But around my nose area, this one always rubs off and I really don't like that so I just mixing a little bit of this in um, and today like I mixed them in guys like, I had no shame in my game today and I mixed them in and it was a little too cray cray because I was like so full coverage but I had more of like a natural kind of look but I still love the way it looked I was just trying it out like I said I'm like doing this trial 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 and error type of thing for prom right now so 
I'm gonna take like I think like one pump of the Milani. So I think I'm probably gonna do like one down there. What? Oh, sorry guys, like my mirror's in your way. One right there, one right there, one right there. I'm gonna go in with a Wet n Wild one. So like, they're two different colors. They look very similar whenever you put them together in the can, but they're not, so. Where's it going with that? I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics brush, I believe. Oh, it says right here. Airbrush foundation brush. And I know it's super dirty, you guys. I used it for my foundation today. I'm just gonna mix all of this in together. Okay guys, so now I'm going to do a little bit of pouncing with this Real Technique sponge. I'm just going to pounce it into my face. And just really blend this out. You don't want any streaks or anything like that. I find that sometimes using brushes leaves me streaks and I don't like that. I just like to do this all the time to also just not have so much product on my face because the sponge does take up a little bit of that product. For concealer, I'm going to use, I don't, I'm going to go out and buy a concealer. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer in medium or light medium. I have crazy baby hairs going on, which is so annoying. I'm going to go in with this Beauty Blender by Real Techniques, and it's actually a highlighting and contour blender. As you can see, it has lots of weird shapes, um, but I, liked, I like this Beauty Blender. I like this blender because it just really blends out. Like, this is so great for blending out concealer, and I've honestly used it for foundation. I love the way it blends out foundation as well. Now I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and kind of just blend a little bit down the sides of my nose. Right here. Okay, to set that, I'm going to go in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm going to use this banana shade right here. Um, and I'm going to set the inner corner with this. I'm going to use this sponge again with that and I'm going to blend out the little creases first. I'm going to go in with that yellow shade and just really pack it on in the inner corner of the bottom of the lid. With the powder you have to be very careful. The powder can be flashback and I feel like that's what gives me the most flashback is actually the powder that I'm using um, and not really the foundation. I'm going to use that same shade and just Pat it on the eyelids. So I won't get such a like a white flashback whenever I do take a picture. I'm going to use this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Bake Brighten and Set Powder. I feel like whenever you are going to take flash photography though, loose powder is your worst enemy. But since this is like a banana shade, I'm hoping it won't flash back like white, like a white cast. It won't have a white cast, but I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Um, so I'm just going to go in with this more to like the V shape that I that I did and I'm gonna keep this where I want it as well I'm not gonna blend it too far out into the like cheeks because then you can see that on camera and you don't want that for the rest of um, the highlighting part I'm just gonna use the NYX banana shade that I used which is actually called the cream that's all that's the name of it so 
I'm gonna let the foundation kind of just set in. So we're gonna do our eyes. I'm just gonna fill in my brows with the e.l.f. brow pencil. Nothing new. I've done this before. So I'm just gonna go in with this. And I usually just quickly fill in my brows. I did um, pluck my eyebrows, so that's why they might look a little bit more perky for you, like the bottom of it. You guys, I'm making my eyes pretty, my eyebrows pretty dramatic, but that's okay. I really, I am going to do my eyebrows this dramatic that day to set my brows a little bit. I'm going to use the Make Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara, and I believe this is like in brunette. Let me check for y'all. Oh, bra this is an O2 Brownie Brows. I'm going to go in and set that. Okay guys, so for eyeshadow, um, you, I honestly just want to do things that you could do on your own. I feel like that's always my goal in life is to let, like show you that you can do this on your own. So go in with any, if you have a bronzer, go in with your bronzer. I'm going to go in with my same old just brushes. Um, and I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay. I'm going to go in just with the same old brushes that I always use, to be honest. The bronzer that I'm going to use is this one by NYX in the same palette. I'm going to use this bronzer right there. Um, and you honestly, if you have this palette, you could do a smoky look with all of these um, shades. It's so easy. And I will put that in my crease. I'm going to like do like into the V. It's thundering outside, you guys. So I'm going to go in with a more precise palette, with a more precise brush. This one's by um, Earth Therapeutics, and it's a fluffy brush like so. And I'm going to go in to this shade right here. So I just want to keep this right here. And then you can even drag it a little bit down if you would like. And then just move back and forth with the um, brush. I'm going to go in with the first brush, and I am going to lightly just blend this in. Okay, guys, so my camera died. I had to charge it for a little bit, and I think we're back now. I did comb out my brows a little bit um like up here in the front because I felt like they were too like blocky so I just combed them out a little bit with the spoolie I put a little bit of gel mascara on them um, I am gonna take the darkest shade in here it's this one right here I'm gonna go back in with this brush as well um and I know it looks kind of weird because of the lighting but if, you, if I put it like this it looks a little bit better I know it's just but this is how they all look compared to each other so I'm going with this shade sorry about that you guys I know the lighting's a little off it is a lot darker than it looks on camera I can tell you guys that um you guys probably see in the picture if you guys go follow me on Instagram or Facebook I will have it on one of those and if you follow me on Snapchat I will most likely update you guys on that and show you guys a picture on that so what you want to do is I'm actually going to keep this color 
like more towards the bottom of the crease and just kind of blend it up. I want to do the blending first because I just want to be able to pack the darkest shade on my lid and then do a little bit of blending so it won't be so much work. Mm -hmm. You always want to start off with a little bit and then gradually add more. So if you do have eyeshadows that have a lot of fallout, you're going to want to do this after or you're going you're gonna to want to do your eyeshadow first. But these, um, these powders don't have a lot of fallout so I wasn't too worried about them. And then I'm going to just flick it out a little bit like that and into the crease a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but I can. So this is what it looked like before I put on the dark shadow. Um, and this is what it looked like after. So it definitely looks like a bit different. Oh, we... And then with a flat brush, with like a flat fluffy brush, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a flat concealer brush. This is more like a flat fluffy brush. This is by Naked um, Urban Decay. This is by Naked. This is by Urban Decay Naked. Um, this is from the Naked 3 palette. So it's just like a flat, but also fluffy enough. This is more like a flat like concealer. Um, not even, there's some that are even flatter than this one. But this one's is more like a all over type of thing so I'm gonna pack my lid with that same brown right? and this would also just help you apply that on there and then also do a little bit of blending so this is a look you can do with a palette maybe like a contour palette that you got that you don't use all the colors in and maybe because the colors are too dark or they're too light for you and um, you need it to like you need to do something with the colors I find this a great way to use all the colors and put them together in a look that looks really really pretty so that's just something that you can do with that and it just very it's very useful so as you can see I'm like packing it on and then I like blend it out so that's the trick here. So with just what I have on my brush, I'm just going to kind of like flick this wing out a little bit and kind of make it a little bit more dramatic. Just like lightly, just very lightly blending this in with my brush. And creating like a faux wing or a faux, did I say a faux wing? I'm not too sure. So if you do get a harsh line, just go back in and blend. So to really smoke this look out, I'm just going to go in with the same brush and drag this color into the crease and just start blending with that same brush, just start blending this color up to really just smoke this look out. Use this Sephora brush um, and I'm going to go in first with all the shades that I used at first. So I'm going to go in with this one. And this one and then this one so those bronzy shades right here I'm gonna put that all over the bottom lash line then I'm gonna go in with the second darkest shade in there and I'm gonna focus this more like right there. I'm stopping like right here. If that makes any sense. I'm not going all the way in like I did with the other. The darkest shade, I'm going to take this brush by, um, it's just, I don't know who, what, who's by, but I know I have it. So it's just like a flat, like angled brush. And I'm going to go into the darkest shade, which is this one. And we just want to keep this towards the waterline. Um, and then we can do a little bit of smoking it out if we want. 
with the other brush. Right now we're just focusing this, focusing this right over here, like towards the lash line. So I'm really, I want to, actually I want to bring this darker shade more in. Okay, so now with the other brush that we we're using at first, I'm going to go ahead and blend all of that out. So now I zoomed you guys out because I'm done with the eyes for right now at least. And I'm going to focus on the rest of the face because the foundation has dried. I'm going to just go ahead and bronze up the skin a little bit and I'm going to use this um, It Cosmetics brush that's the airbrush powder brush um, I've been using it for my bronzer because I've just really enjoyed that so I'm just gonna go into this shade right here and just bronze up my face a little bit To contour my face, I'm going to go into this more cool tone shade right here. It's a lot more cool tone and works really well for, um, for contouring and adding just a really nice shadow. It's this one. I'm going in with this brush right here. It's a dual-ended brush. It's a dual-ended brush, but I'm going in with this end. Now I'm going to go in with blush. The blush that I'm using is by Tarte and this is the Tarte um, blush in magic. It's really pretty. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild contour brush. go back in with this brush and just blend all of that out I'm gonna go into this one and just add a tiny bit on my nose and see how that looks just to kind of there we go just add a little bit of shine on my nose I always like to highlight my nose a little bit I'm gonna line my eyes with the essence eyeliner pen in it's a waterproof, but it's in the shade. Let's see if it has a shade. Casanova. 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 This has been one of my favorite eyeliners, you guys. I'm just going to do like a little bit of a wing. I'm going to try doing a thin line. I always say try because every time I do a, a wing liner, it always somehow gets really, really thick. Okay guys, it just started storming really bad outside, so if you guys can hear the storm, excuse that. The mascara that I used um, to, I didn't put any falsies on because I didn't feel like it was necessary. I don't know if I'm going to wear falsies. I don't think I will. Um, but what I did use was this um, Maybelline New York, the Falsies Big Eye Waterproof Mascara. I recommend waterproof mascara for prom just because you're going to be dancing around, probably going to be sweating. So I recommend waterproof mascara plus it holds a curl on the update that I did for you guys I said that I didn't 
like it was just kind of like an em like like it wasn't that good of a mascara but um i really like it i've like layered it on and layered it on and it feels and it looks really really good actually so i think if i layered it on it does make my eyes look kind of like falsies so that's that now moving on to lips to lips i don't want to do something super matte uh, but I don't want to do something super glossy so I'm going to say it in the middle and I'm going to use this Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color and it's actually like very bronzy so I feel like it'll go with this look and I've really been enjoying it. You hear that thunder? It's crazy. It's crazy out there, you guys. We've had some crazy weather down here, and it's really just been out of control. Ooh, I really like it, you guys. Okay, guys, so this is what the makeup looks with my little top. You guys can't see all of it, but you guys can see some of the blue. And I really, really like how it came out. You guys, it looks so good together. One last thing that I'm going to do, and the thing that you probably want to do to lock in your foundation your makeup is to put a setting spray on um this is the l'oreal infallible pro S spray and set and it's the makeup extender setting spray and i'm just gonna spray this on my face okay guys so that is honestly it for this makeup look if you guys like these type of videos like i always say Give this video a thumbs up. I'm glad I tried off this straight hairstyle. My hair can stay straight for a while, but it usually like kind of like does this thing. So I don't really like that. Um, so I don't think I'll be wearing my hair straight for prom. I'll probably just put it up, do something else with it because I feel like this looks kind of mm, not my favorite. I love you guys and I will talk to you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys. Bye. You guys, I tried um, taking a picture with with a flash on. It looked really, really good. I just wanted to update you guys on that um, because I said I don't want any flashbacks. So I took a picture with my professional camera, and it looked really, really good. So I really, really liked it. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that. So 